Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain force voltage analogy means I will compare mechanical parameter with electrical parameter as per force to voltage analogy. So here you can observe we have mechanical system. In mechanical system, we have a spring with constant K. Here we have mass that is having value M. Here we have damper that is having damping constant B and we apply F amount of force and because of force F here acceleration is A, velocity is V and displacement is X. While over here we have electrical system that is connected as per voltage V over here and here we have RLC connection in series. Now here to derive force voltage analogy, first of all let us analyze mechanical system. See here we are applying force F that is getting distributed into spring, mass and damper. So here we need to understand how force distribution that is there with spring. Here we have a spring that is having spring constant K and because of force here displacement is X. What it means this spring that is having displacement X. So restoring force inside spring that will be K into X. Here we have second element that is damper. Here because of force F, we have velocity V and as per damping constant B, force distribution inside damper that will be damping constant B into velocity V. And here we have mass M. So force distribution with this mass that is mass into acceleration because of this force acceleration is A. So if you talk about total force F, then that is algebraic sum of Fk plus Fb plus Fm that is Kx plus Bv plus Ma. So that is how total force distribution that happens with this mechanical system. Now I will explain you analysis of electrical system. So here with electrical system let us consider we have closed loop that is having current I. Here these three elements that is connected in series. So if you apply KVL then here total voltage V that will be voltage distribution across resistance plus voltage distribution across inductance plus voltage distribution across capacitance right. So V is equals to VR plus VL plus VC. Here this VR that is I into R. Here this VL that is L di by dt and voltage across capacitor that is 1 by C integration I dt. And there are a few basics that one should know. See current I that is rate of change of charge with respect to time. So based on that one can say charge is integration of current with respect to time. Right. So if you place integration I dt is equals to charge in this equation then in total voltage equation that is IR plus L di by dt plus Q by C. Now we have these two equations and by comparing these two equations we can identify analogy in between force and voltage as per mechanical and electrical system. Here I have derived these two equations. So first of all let me convert both of these equations in Laplace domain. So with mechanical system here velocity is dx by dt and acceleration is double differentiation of x with respect to time. And if you apply Laplace transform to this equation, then here we have single differentiation. If you consider zero initial condition, then single differentiation is S into X. And here we have double differentiation. If you consider zero initial conditions, then double differentiation of X with respect to time is S square into X. Now we will apply same phenomenon to this electrical system where current I is dq by dt. So if you substitute I is equals to dq by dt over here then here we will be having R into dq by dt. Here we have single differentiation of I with respect to time. So after substituting I is equals to dq by dt this will be d square I by dt square plus q by c. And here we will apply Laplace transform. If you apply Laplace transform, then 
here with single differentiation we will be having s into q and with this double differentiation we will be having s square into q remember with both of the systems we are considering zero initial conditions right now i'll explain you force to voltage analogy so here in force voltage analogy i will be comparing these two equations so here we will be having mechanical system parameter and here we will be having electrical system parameter so here what we are doing is we are considering force is equivalent of voltage so we need to compare these two equations right so here force is equivalent of voltage now if you carefully observe these two equations then here if you compare mass then here see mass is there along with s square into x so here with s square term we have inductance l so in force voltage analogy mass is equivalent of inductance l right now if you observe another parameter that is damping constant b so damping constant b that is there along with s so here if you compare this over here along with s then damping constant and resistance both are equivalent so in force voltage analogy damping constant b is equivalent of resistance r over here right now if you compare spring constant k so here spring constant k that is having no terms of s and here if you observe we don't have any terms of s over here so what it means this spring constant k that is equivalent of 1 by c means one can say reciprocal of capacitance c right so spring constant k is equivalent of 1 by c right and if you compare distance x with this equation then here distance x is equivalent of charge q right you can compare these two equations and one more parameter that one can compare like you can observe here we have dx by dt parameter and here we have dq by dt parameter dx by dt parameter that is equivalent of velocity and dq by dt that is equivalent of current so in force voltage analogy one should know velocity is equivalent of current i right so that is how one can compare force voltage analogy and this comparison is very essential i have seen in many competitive examinations they are asking direct question based on parameter comparison so one should know force is equivalent of voltage mass is equivalent of inductance damping constant is equivalent of resistance spring constant is equivalent of reciprocal of capacitance distance x is equivalent of charge and velocity is equivalent of current i so that is how one can identify force voltage analogy i hope you have understood this still if any confusion is there just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video